Chapter five, what's the catch? Boom, the gun blasted again. Grabbing his helmet and strapping it tight, Sammy jetted across the field, zigging where the bullet zagged and nosedived into a hole. He poked his head out one more time to see the farmer take aim. The final rays of afternoon sun glinted off his helmet. Just then, a spray of bullets pelted the hole as he popped back down to safety. Tilda followed both children out of her shop with Gabby Gab gripping her shoulder. Each time the farmer's gun went off, Gabby's claws dug further in. Youch! These gun blasts need to stop. Your grandpop's angry that Sammy is eating his garden, Tilda observed in pain. If things were growing better here, he'd lose track of the numbers of missing cucumbers and might even give Sammy a pardon. I bet that's true, said Madison May, but things haven't grown well for a year. Perhaps your grandpa needs new ideas from a savvy businessman and a fashion designer, Tilda thoughtfully noted. He doesn't usually like new things, especially new ideas, Albert said. Grandpa always loved to say, stick with the old or hit the highway. Give him this, Tilda handed Albert a farmer's straw hat. Maybe from new and beautiful things, he will find a bit of bliss. Thank you, Miss Tilda, Madison said. Thank you, Albert repeated. You are most welcome, but you're not done yet. Pay attention to the great ideas you get. I already have new ones, said Madison May. Me too, Albert quickly added. They waved goodbye and went up the gravel driveway. When Tilda's round shop was no longer in sight, they reached up to check their hats. Still there. Wow. Albert said as they approached Grandpa's house. You can say that again. What took you two so long? And what have you got on your heads? Grandpa Pete called out from his rocker. He was tall and fit for his age. He still had all his hair as well, a tangle on top to match his scruffy beard. He wore dark blue pants with black suspenders that went over a dirty white shirt. In his lap, he held a gun. He always made sure to point the barrel away, never at anyone. Though he tended to be cranky more minutes of the day than most, his rule was always safety first. This is my new visor, Grandpa. Madison May got a bonnet. You kids steal them hats, Pete accused. No, sir, they're a gift, his granddaughter assured him. Gift? You sure you didn't steal them? I know you don't have any money to be buying hats, and nobody around here is kind enough to be given hats as fine as that. Tilda Pinkerton gave them to us, Albert said, coming up on the porch. She gave us one to give to you, too. He handed his grandpa the straw. Who in the world is Tilda Pinkerton? Grandpa spat, ignoring the hat. The most beautiful person I've ever seen, Albert said. And girls, you know, give me the heebie-jeebies. She makes hats, Madison explained. And she gives them away for free. There must be a catch. Grandpa Pete did not put on his hat. He laid it across the gun instead. She said, as long as we create something wonderful, aha, there's the catch. The old man clapped. Always the catch. Nothing for free in this world we're in, and those are the facts. Just then, he looked across his yard and saw a carrot wiggling. There's that woodchuck again. Grabbing the gun, he cursed and stood up. The straw hat rolled to the floor. Grandpa took aim straight at the patch. Sammy! Madison yelled as he fired. Boom! The bullet cut through the carrot greens just as they were yanked under. Madison and Albert watched nervously as Grandpa reloaded his gun. Sammy popped up his head and waved. Thrilled to see him but scared, the children waved back hysterically with gestures to get down. What are you kids waving at? Grandpa crabbed. Only the woodchuck, said Madison May. We're waving him away, Albert said. You don't need to shoot. We just need to give him ground rules. Grandpa Pete simply stared. Ground rules? For a woodchuck? Those varmints are the most useless creatures on the planet. They're nothing but a problem and a pest. I think that hat's affecting your head. He scrunched up his face at Madison May. That goes double for you. 
Tilda Pinkerton makes learning fun and bright at her magic hat shop. Wonderful website. Tilda Pinkerton.